good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching this, it is a good day because we finally have corn coming out of the ground and you know what that means. It's time to do our emergence flagging kit from Precision Planting. I am so excited, so is dad, because it has been so cool here lately that we're just happy to see stuff popping up. So first things first, you gotta measure our 17 and a half feet because that's one one thousandth of an acre on 30 inch rows. So please hold. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take two of the red flags out just to mark the beginning and the end of our 17 and a half feet. I'm so sorry about the wind. This is what happens when you're on the edge of the prairie. It's been so windy here lately. There's no avoiding it. Okay. All right, so our beginning, I'll put right down here. to mark all of the day one emerged corn plants with our green flags. Ooh, if I can stay standing. Okay, we got a lot, so here we go. All right, so we got one right down here by the beginning. We've got number two. Let's see, oh, we got another one. Three. Four, make sure I don't miss any here. They're so cute when they're coming out of the ground. Okay, so we had some technical difficulties and for some reason the video I had of flagging the rest of this did not save. So that's a bummer. Um, also really sorry again about the wind. Can't help it. But make sure you go over this 17 and a half feet or however many feet of your crop I'm choosing more than once. I missed several, like even on the fourth time through, I still found a couple that had emerged and I completely missed the first time around. So, but I feel like this is a lot of green. And then tomorrow morning, I'll come back with the blue flags and mark everything that's come up in the next 24 hours. Would you look at that? We've got some more emergence on day two. Good morning, we're back with day two. It is amazing. It always has amazed me how quickly things can change in just 24 hours. We've got a lot of new plants ready to flag for day two. So let's get going. Hopefully I don't miss any this day. As you can see, we're doing pretty good so far. We have a lot of green and blue flags. Well, obviously only green and blue flags since we haven't put out the yellow and red ones yet. But so far it's looking like the majority of things that are planted in this one one thousandth of an acre um, are gonna come up in the first 24 and 48 hours, which is pretty ideal. Um, especially since the majority of those are green flags, which means that the majority so far have come up in the first 24 hours, which is what we wanna see. And I'll be back tomorrow morning to flag all of the little corn plants that come up in the next 24 hours. Good morning, we're back with our day three flags, which are the yellow ones. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look like a lot has come up in the last 24 hours. I've already kind of scanned our 17 and a half feet here. And I think I only saw, saw one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and double check and triple check and make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think I'm only gonna need one for this one. I kind of focus um, where there are some bigger gaps because that'll be the place where it'll most likely be if there is one coming up, but honestly, I'm not seeing much, so. 
just um, we just have that one today. It's kind of disappointing. There's a couple of bigger bigger gaps through here, so check those out um, after I flag day four tomorrow and see what happened. If there's a seed there or, or what the deal is, so yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning to flag all the ones that come up in the next 24 hours. Good morning, we are back for day four of the emergence flagging. <clears throat> um, and I've already kind of looked through it and it looks like we only only have one that's come up. Ooh, actually no, we do have two. I just realized this one has a double. So that's not good. That kind of ruins both those plants. All right. Go put my one flag out down at the other end. And I think we're done. Now we're just going to um, wait and see what kind of good info this gives us throughout the throughout the growing season. But mostly at harvest time, we'll be able to see just how much the emergence affected um, ear size and which in turn affects yield. So looking forward to that. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig because there are a couple of bigger gaps throughout here. And just to see if one, the planter didn't get a seed in that and that actually is just a large gap or two, if it was an issue with the seed and it just did not start growing. Um, so we'll see, see what happens there. Hello, so I'm just going to go ahead and dig in this gap and see what the deal is, why nothing came up. Was there just a lack of seed or, ooh. Well, I am honestly not seeing anything. Dad usually plants the corn, Dad plants all the corn and I plant the beans and he usually plants them about an inch and three quarters, two inches down. And there's nothing there. Absolutely nada. If you're still planting or if you have stuff that's just now coming up, it's not too late to get your own emergence flagging kit for free. I'll drop the link below in the description, but it's definitely worth it to have this valuable data at the end of the year. This information is so valuable in contributing to decisions that are going to help you better your farm year after year and generation after generation. So let me know if you guys flag your emergence because I for sure want to see those results too.